The controversial whistleblower complaint is made public amid tensions in Washington over whether the president committed an impeachable offense during his interactions with his Ukrainian counterpart. One America's Marty Golinkin walks us through the report. The declassified whistleblower complaint is officially released to the public and alleges President Trump's actions regarding his phone call with Ukraine posed a national security risk. In the report, the anonymous individual claims the president attempted to solicit interference from a foreign country in the 2020 U.S. election. Here are some of the bullet points. It's important to note the whistleblower first admits they received the alleged information from more than half a dozen U.S. officials and was not a direct witness to most of the events described. They claim they found all accounts credible because those officials' fact patterns were consistent with one another and were already corroborated in public reports. It goes on to explain the whistleblower's takeaway from the July 25th phone call between President Trump and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. They say U.S. officials told them the president, quote, pressured Zelensky to initiate or continue investigations into former Vice President Joe Biden and his son Hunter assist in uncovering allegations of Russian interference in the 2016 election, specifically the CrowdStrike controversy regarding the DNC servers, which were allegedly hacked by Moscow, and to meet with Attorney General William Barr and personal Trump attorney Rudy Giuliani to follow up on the investigations. It also says President Trump expressed conviction that the new Ukrainian government will be quickly able to improve Ukraine's image and complete the investigation of corruption cases that have held back cooperation between Ukraine and the United States. White House officials claim no other cases were discussed except for CrowdStrike and the Bidens. The whistleblower also believes the White House took steps to, quote, lock down records of the call. The complaint reportedly said over a dozen White House officials listened in on the phone conversation. It said White House lawyers directed sources to remove the electronic transcript reading system of the call. Officials then allegedly loaded the word-for-word -word transcript to an outside electronic system, normally used for highly sensitive material. They believe this act was an abuse of power because the call did not contain anything remotely sensitive from a national security perspective. The complaint then lays out ongoing concerns related to the call with the Ukrainian leader. It calls out two U.S. diplomats, the Special Envoy for Ukraine Negotiations, Kurt Volker, and the U.S. Ambassador to the European Union, Gordon Sondland. The two officials are accused of following up with the Ukraine government on how to, quote, navigate the demands of President Trump to President Zelensky. We have what are called uh, the Three Amigos, and the Three Amigos are Secretary Perry, uh, again, Ambassador Volker, and myself. And we've been tasked with sort of overseeing the Ukraine-U.S. relationship uh, between our contacts uh, at the highest levels of the U.S. government and now the highest levels of the Ukrainian government. We can make sure that all of the reforms and all of the initiatives that we are undertaking with Ukraine stay on track and happen quickly. The report then describes Rudy Giuliani's timeline of overtures to aides and advisors of the Ukrainian president. It details Giuliani's efforts to connect with Ukrainian prosecutors who were investigating the business of Hunter Biden. At the time, then-U.S. Ambassador to Ukraine Marie Ivanovich was critical of the prosecutor for not dealing with corruption in the country and blocked Ukrainian officials from going to the U.S. to deliver evidence related to the 2016 election. On April 29th, Ambassador Ivanovich was then recalled back to Washington two months ahead of her scheduled departure. It then cites an interview Giuliani had with a Ukrainian reporter, where the former mayor said she was removed because she was part of efforts against the president. Then on May 9th, Giuliani announced he would travel to Ukraine to press the government about probing Joe Biden and the DNC servers. Overall, the complaint alleges Ukrainian officials were under the impression receiving U.S. military aid was contingent on whether President Zelensky pursued CrowdStrike and the Biden allegations. The whistleblower says back in May, Vice President Mike Pence canceled his visit to attend the inauguration of President Zelensky and sent Energy Secretary Rick Perry instead. This led Ukrainian officials to believe they would not get a face-to-face -face meeting with top U.S. leadership unless they, quote, played ball on the issues raised by Giuliani. The complaint says on July 18th, the president told the Office of Management and Budget to suspend military assistance to Ukraine without giving any explanation. Days later, on July 25th, President Trump called President Zelensky to discuss CrowdStrike and the Bidens. Marty Golingan, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.